For years, I had been plagued with what I thought was just like a pulse muscle in my neck. And it just kept getting worse and worse the more I did and the older I got. And it just would not go away. She was having difficulty running and doing the typical activities that she will do on a regular basis. Julie is someone that's very active. She's a runner, works out. As she uh, was noticing that she was just not able to carry out the level of activities that she was able to do before, she came and sought some help. We got some pictures of her neck and sure enough, we saw that she had developed pretty advanced degenerative changes of her cervical spine and there were some bone spur that were pushing on the nerve. He gave me all the information and I walked out and I kind of thought about it. And I went to physical therapy, still didn't work. And then that's ultimately when my husband and I went back in and talked to him and said, okay, this is not a way to live. After failing to essentially improve on conservative measures, we decided to proceed with an anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. Essentially, that is a procedure whereby we get into the joint of the neck from the front and restore the height of the disc, clean up all the bone spur, relieve the pressure of the nerve, and fuse those diseased joints. We watched Julie in the hospital for about uh, two days, and then after that, she went back home, and uh, she continued to just recover uh, adequately. I'm so glad that I did it. I've actually told some friends that have been putting it off and they've gone to see him. They've had great results. Do you want to walk around constantly being in pain? No, it's not worth it. And sure, you got to slow down for 12 weeks, but now I'm back to where I was and I'm very happy that I've done it. I just moved slowly and methodically, listening to the plan between Dr. Benet and the physical therapist. And here I am now, I'm back and even better.